Hey, you guys have no idea how hard it is to be a magician in today's America. Uh, let's say you're doing like a standard coin trick. You've got eight coins laid out in two rows of four like we always do. Nothing different about these coins as opposed to these coins except these are on the left and these are on the right. And as you do in the trick, you pick up two of the coins and hold them in your hands. Normally this would not allow, arouse suspicion. However, this time, now, someone says in the audience, hey, show us again. I say, what? He says, show us again. All right, what do you mean? He says, throw them out and pick them up again. So you do, you throw them out and you pick them up again because why not, right? Make people happy. He pick up the next set and he goes, hey, show us those two. Well, what, what's with this? And he says, look, it's simple. You're a magician. Magicians are on television. I can't trust anyone that's on television, therefore I don't trust you, show us again. Well, you know, you can't argue with <laughs> logic like that, so you show them again, you pick it up. Uh, you pick up the next set, and that guy's quiet, but somebody else in the crowd says, hey, that guy made a lot of sense. And, All right, so you gotta, show, you gotta show the next set too. Finally, you pick up the last two, and you look around, and sure enough, there's somebody wanting you to do this again. And you say, why? And he says, well, you know, it's my constitutional right to see it again. So there it is. And you know, when you think about it, it really doesn't take much to toss out a coin or pick it up like that. But um, really, uh, it's all seemingly simple and innocent, and yet you can't help thinking. There's so much of it. There must be some kind of sneakiness going on.